Welcome to the show. My name is Domingo, and today we're going to teach you how to use Bandicam. Now, you're probably wondering, how am I recording this video? Well, I am currently using Camtasia Studio, but we're going to show you how to use Bandicam to record gameplay, screen captures, and you name it. So, what we're going to do is we are going to open up Bandicam right now. Now that we have Bandicam open, as you can see, it is unregistered. So basically, when you install Bandicam for the first time and you record your first video, there will be a watermark when you record. But anyways, enough about that. We're going to show you how to use this software. So the first option that you're going to be looking at here is the game recording mode. So when you have a game installed onto your PC and you want to record the footage in the game, you first have to enable the settings in the game tab and then you run the game. So basically what happens is when you have your game mode set up, it will give you some general options. Now you have to make sure that you select an output folder to make sure that the videos that you record to are saved onto a folder. By default, it'll usually be through the C drive, users, your name, the documents folder, and a Bandicam folder. And to access that at any time, what you can do is you can click open, and then it'll directly access the folder. So what I've recorded on Bandicam are two Quake Champions videos. So I have those already recorded for another project. We're just going to not worry about it right now. You can also set the option for Bandicam, Windows always on top. You can start Bandicam minimized to tray, or you can run Bandicam on Windows Startup. And then you can go into the Advanced tab and look at the other options right here. And then hooking is basically for DirectX applications and Windows Store apps. You can also set the language, you can also go Others, and then you can go rec Video Recording Settings, Video Format Settings. You can set the format however you like. I have my format set to MP4 full size, 30 frames per second, the codec is H.264, then quality is at 80%, and then the audio you can customize yourself. So then you can go to video recording settings so that you can record sound, you can go to primary devices, and you can go secondary sound devices, you can go to webcam here, you can add a webcam overlay, you can also add a custom logo to videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the logo and then we're going to browse for a logo. So it will usually take the PNG files. So what we're going to do is we're going to go pictures and we're just going to find a logo to use at this moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the watermark. And then what we do is we're going to click OK and then that is good to go. And then there's also an option auto complete recording and then you can basically do a recording automatically and you can have it set so that there is a max recording time and then a max file size and then after recording it allows you to stop recording exit beta cam, do nothing, shut down your computer, what have you. And then that is it for the advanced options. So we're going to just close out of that and then there's also auto start recording options where you can set that to and then it's set to disable and then you can go to frames per second and then you can show the overlay of the frames per second so I have it set so that the frames per second overlay appears on the top left but you can customize it by clicking here so that it goes into another area and then you can also set your FPS limit which is the hotkey set to F10 and then you can also set the limit to 60 frames per second and only when capturing so then what you can also do is you can go to video and then this will give you the hotkeys to record. So basically when you're playing a game, it will ask you to press F12 to record so that you can see the frames per second indicator on your screen however you wanted it, and that is that. And then you can also go pause hotkey, show mouse cursor, add mouse click effects, and you can also add the webcam overlay if you'd want to. So you can also set the format here, and you can go into settings and adjust the format as well. And then you can go presets, and you can select from the variety of presets. So for this demonstration, we're going to select YouTube 720p. So it'll set it accordingly to what your preferences are, whatever format you select. And then you can also do screenshots, so you can click on image, and then the image key is basically F11. So F11 is photos, F12 is videos, and then there's also a repeat screen capture function and then you can also set to BMP, PNG, JPEG or JPEG high quality and then there's a second indicator as well and then there's also output and this is where it takes you to the output folder so that is how to do it then you can also go to images as well 
it all saves in the same folder. And then it also has about, which basically tells you to allow for about and that sort of thing. And then the unregistered package usually has 10 minute videos with watermark. And then if you want to remove the watermark, you can purchase Bandicam from Bandicam.com. You can click on the register link and then you go how to purchase and register, that sort of thing. So we're going to go to the screen recording mode where it pops up with this window. And then there's the record button to start. Then there's the image capture. Then there's also a drawing mode here. So that way we can select what we want to draw. So for this example, we're going to start recording right now. And then we're going to select a pen option as well. So we're going to start recording as I'm recording. All right, so it's recording right now. And as you can see, the vectors change as you move through it so that it's like moving anywhere you go. And then you can also set arrows if you like. So you can set like a big arrow right here pointing at certain things. And then you can also use like a highlighter to circle certain things as well. And you can also do like a pencil function where you can like scribble everything. And you can type whatever you like or write whatever you like. And there's also numbers. So number one, you go to paperwork. Number two, you press the record button. Number three, you go to disable. And then number four, close the program. That sort of thing. I mean, that's pretty neat. And then you can also use arrows and that sort of thing. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty, pretty neat. You can undo effects as you come along here. Then you can also highlight stuff. And then you can also set whatever you like. It's, it's pretty cool. And then you can set squares. I mean, that, that's pretty nice. Then you can close out of that, and then you can stop the recording. So the recording saves into the Bandicam folder. So we're just going to kick out of this, and then we're going to go to Open, so that we can open up what we just did. So we're going to double click that. So this is exactly what we just did. We were moving everything around as we did. You can see the orange lines of moving. It's making you dizzy, I'm sorry. And then we are also basically using our arrow tool here and we are just putting in our points. It's just really nice and you can see the circles there. So it records but with 10 minute limits without the watermark, which is really cool. But anything further than that, your videos will have the watermark if your video is over 10 minutes. So we are not going to worry about that at that moment. We're going to close out of this. So that is how you use Bandicam. And then there's also a device recording mode where you can use your webcam and it allows you to select the device so that you can use a webcam overlay if you're a gamer. So we're going to select the LifeCam HD 3000 because that's what I got. And then we're going to set the format to 1280 by 720. And then you can add deinterlacing or blend if you like. And then we're going to click OK. So it'll bring up the webcam as you can see here. Hello, everybody. And it will allow you to do like a screen capture. And then also it allows you to record from the webcam, which we're not going to do because we're currently recording off of Camtasia right now as we're doing this. So we're going to close out of that so you won't see my face. Bye. And then what we're going to do is there is the recording target window. There's the capture image. And then there's the pause button. So to start everything, it just brings you to that screen. And then you can just click record from there or record from here, whatever you like. And that is basically it. That's how to use Bandicam. And it's a pretty simple setup on how to record stuff from your screen. And it doesn't have as much like zoom in features, but it's a pretty good recording software when you want to just record something quick and easy. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I want you to know that I appreciate all the support that you give me and I appreciate all the subscribers and attention that I've been getting because it's just been so difficult to come up with some really great ideas. But with sticking to this format, it has allowed me to put my mind at ease and to make videos just like this. And I really enjoy making videos and I want to keep making videos. So it really means a lot if you just keep subscribing and then you can also go to my Patreon page. You can donate there. I would really appreciate it because these videos do take a lot of time and work to do and your support is just so appreciated. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and remember, domination is near. Take care.